my name is Chris, Chris Carcabasis. Uh, the real Greek name is Christos. Um, I came to Canada in 1955. I was 16 on my way over and uh, became 17 on the way to the boat with a boat. Um, anyways, uh, I went to school in Sparta and then for a couple of years I went to school in Athens uh, and I moved to Toronto in 1955, uh, having a sister and a brother before me there. We also have immigrated, uh, working in different, uh, actually uh, working in one, one place almost 10 years. Um, I learned the restaurant business from it. Uh, I went to school for, uh, for English language, uh, Ryerson. Uh, it wasn't the Ryerson Institute that we know today. It was, uh, it was high school, but also had night courses for, uh, for the English language. Uh, it helped me a lot, and uh, I worked at, the, like I said, the hotel business. Uh, went back to Greece in 1962. I got married to my wife, and we raised two children, Nico, Nick, Nick, Ilea, Louis, and uh, Nikki, uh, which are in Lindsay now. Uh, we came to Lindsay in 1968, after working in the industry in Toronto and learning the business. Uh, we bought the college restaurant together with partners. It was um, at the center of the community at the time. There wasn't that many restaurants. Uh, the town had uh, less than uh, around 10, 10 or 11,000 people in 1968. Back in uh, by 1895, around that time, my grandfather and uh, Tony Baker George and his brothers, they moved to Canada. My grandfather went south to uh, Baltimore, in the United States. And because he was an alien over there, he never really got registered because he died from tuberculosis and uh, he was buried in some unknown grave and we never heard from him again. But anyway, Tony was um, in a relation to us. And uh, when I came to Lindsay, uh, certainly Tony had died by then, but his son Peter welcomed us and we talked and uh, we became good friends over the years. Um, uh, I bought the Olympia restaurant for Mr. Stozio, or Mr. Stozio was retiring. Uh, before that, we had the cottage restaurant, as I spoke before, and um, we done well. And uh, we continue with the Olympia. And today, I'm very proud to say that uh, Nikki is excelling in her welcoming, uh, being good, good ambassador for Lindsay, because Lindsay, uh, the Olympia restaurant, is continuing to be uh, the welcoming center. And uh, it's a nice place to meet and nice place to go and say that uh, something is still stable and still here. Mrs. Tozio and her family done well in the restaurant business. Uh, Tony had um, run the Olympia restaurant as a candy works and it became a success. They had other restaurants with his brothers in Barry and in Oshawa. As a result, he moved down to supplying rather than to be in the restaurant business and he sold his business or at least he listed the business to Chris Tozio, which was Mr. Tozio's husband, who unfortunately died young. Uh, so Mrs. Tozio, uh, God bless her, she, uh, she had the heart and uh, the help of her kids. Uh, she ran it for almost 50 years before we, we came, uh, came on board and bought it. Uh, the Olympia came back again to what it's original because he had changed name and I brought the first thing I done, I brought back the name, the Olympia. Um, Tony had played a great part in the sports community in Lindsay. He helped a lot of people with uh, sports. He, he sponsored teams, uh, hockey teams, uh, baseball teams. Uh, and it was, uh, Lindsay was a uh, thriving community, always. The Olympia is busy now as ever was. You know, one time it was uh, just the only place, you know, between that and the cottage restaurant. There was the only two, and the bonfire came. Uh, I'm happy to say that uh, uh, during during the time, uh, we employed a lot of young kids in Lindsay, you know, going to high school, as waitressing or any different facets of the restaurant business. And uh, now that uh, that uh, these kids have grown up, they have their families, they have their kids, uh, and a lot of them very successful. Uh, successful in their family, that's what you need. The money is not just the, uh, the, uh, the way to express success. Success is what family you're raising here. And... Uh, <clears throat> I'm proud to say that and I feel so good to see some of these young kids who work there now being mothers or fathers 
and they, and they have their own families, and they're looking forward to the good, uh, to the future of the country. It's it's so great. It's it's rewarding. People were close, close, a small small town, uh, but it was close. It was nice, nice, nice town to come to, and uh, I decided. Uh, uh, with the help of Jim McCory, who was our lawyer at that time, and then became a good friend and tutor and mentor to me. Uh, because as a result of him stayed in Lindsay, and I tell you a story, you gotta laugh at, uh, uh, I was gonna move to Limington to buy my wife's uh, uncle's uh, business. Uh, they were retiring and they wanted us to stay in the family. Um, and uh, Jim said, uh, "No, I think you should stay here in town and uh, be a big, big, big bullfrog in a small pond. Then I'm going down there, and nobody hears from you again." He says, uh, "No, it's your 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 place in Lindsay." Uh, very convincing words, I tell you, and I'm glad that I'm glad I listened to. And uh, and I'm here as a result. And here I'm talking to his grandson now. Isn't that amazing how history repeats itself and it continues? Yeah, I was very, very impressed with Jim and, uh, and his lifestyle and his wife and his uh, family. It, uh, most of his kids worked for us going through the high school um, at the restaurant. At the cottage restaurant was the, uh, the, uh, the center of the town at the time as far as meeting place. Uh, and also we had all the service clubs there. We uh, met at uh, various nights of the week. Um, I got to know the Lindsay, Lindsay people quite well. Uh, I joined the Chamber of Commerce at that time because uh, as we uh, enter into new, uh, what they call the free trade world, uh, it drained us of all our industry, it drained of all of our good paying jobs. Uh, Lindsay won uh, dire straits and were very, very uh, concerned, you know, about the future. Uh, the mall started to come in, and they also drained the downtown. The downtown was pretty, 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 pretty bad shape, as far as that. Uh, it wasn't you know, our own only business; everybody's business uh, suffering. Uh, I joined the chamber, uh, and I became president. I served for a couple of years as president, and my concern is how to to overcome the uh, the uh, problem that everybody goes the kind of economic downturn. It, it continued up to the council. I moved up because I thought maybe I can do something better from there, and I certainly served 17 years of it in different different facets of the town's uh, business. Uh, but a lot of things were happening. There was a lot of cooperation from local people because everybody was feeling that uh, that uh, economic uh, downturn. With all our shortcomings. We overcame a lot of things. We established, and I was the uh, the uh, founder of both the BIA and the uh, and the parking authority, which uh, shows today the uh, the the parking is certainly not as problem as it used to be one time. It used to be oh, you had some parking space in the front front of Kent Street. Now both sides of Kent Street and the, and the side uh, sides of the Kent Street have uh, parking parking lots and. Uh, uh, let's put it this way, you never have enough, but at least it served us as best as we can. Uh, I urge the new council to stick together and maybe, I don't know, go to high rise park and I don't know what the, what the answer is, because we're going to keep growing. Maybe we're not growing as fast as other communities, but we are growing. And I can see it now that I have time to travel outside of Lindsay. Uh, when you go to within, you think, well, nothing's changing. Well, a lot of things changing, uh, and for good. For, for betterment. My concern, as I said, when I was a chamber and I made my first speech before the public was, uh, if I may, if I can contribute to do anything for Lindsay, is to uh, to create jobs for the young people to live, if they want to live by choice, not because they have no choice, because that's how I became here, and thankful Canada opened its doors to give us the opportunity to do to excel in different uh, in, in our life, in our lives, and. Uh, uh, to a certain degree, it's happening. People come back, Lindsay young people come back because they enjoy coming back because it's a nice community. And in spite of uh, what uh, uh, the growth, uh, you know, if you compare it to Peterborough and compare it to Barrie, you know, they're, they're really, uh, I don't think we want to grow that, that bad, <laughs> that, that big either. Uh, because you lose your identity, you lose your little, little town community. Um, the only thing I urge this council to work together 
to stop, uh, uh, to a certain degree has stopped because originally it was, it was pretty bad. Um, us versus them. No, it's all us, all us. And whatever we do for the northern part of the community of Lindsay, it benefits all of us. And I hope this uh, council and the continuous councils work together. Lindsay, uh, because of geographic position, uh, it's not that far from Lindsay, from Toronto anymore. And now, especially the four, four or seven coming closer to us. Uh, I always uh, tried from council when I was after the Chamber of Commerce moved up uh, to have a four lane highway because this is what benefit Peterborough. And uh, the last uh, member of uh, Queen's Park uh, became the Premier of Ontario. I asked I ask when she visited Lindsay about uh, maybe the four lane highway will help us to get some industry because that's what we're lacking here. We don't want to become uh, mighty with the industry and become just uh, unknowns. We want to uh, keep our identity, keep our community, but at the same time keep jobs for the young people so they won't have to, they won't have to live from here. Tourism is a great business, but you don't want to rely just on that alone. Uh, we certainly have done well with the tourist uh, business and we have done well with the support of Lindsay, uh, Lindsay citizens, you know, and, and visitors in our business. My son operates a very successful restaurant and my daughter continues with the Olympia restaurant. We bought that as a result of the um, uh, Mrs. Tozio retired because she was uh, uh, living with that uh, restaurant for 50 years. Uh, not too many people survived that long in a restaurant, including us. You know, we're, we're since, since 1968 when we started in and uh, I, I don't know about the new the grandchildren, but certainly Nikki and Louis have done well in it too with her family. What else to tell you? Yeah, the, I enjoyed my uh, 17 years on city council. Um, the, uh, I served with uh, good mayors. Uh, uh, Jim Flynn, he was the longest one serving. Uh, John Akins just left when I came when I came in, and then Dave Logan. We became a judge, an honorable judge. Council members, you know, all, they're all, they're all were, were great, great people and it's good to work with, and including our arguments that we had many times, you know, but we argue for the community, for the benefit of the community. And uh, we're all friends and uh, it's, it's nice to keep that, nice to keep the small community uh, here. Uh, but we need to grow and that's, that's part of the price you pay. So we will do some of the identity. As far as uh, heavy industry, you know, we lost it. They're not, they're not coming back. Uh, uh, maybe we don't need that anymore. Maybe maybe we have other things that we can benefit by it. I, I look I look to Greece now. Same thing. The last of the industry because of a heavy tax, different reasons. They're all left, uh, but now they have other things they can produce. And uh, you know, uh, look at the. Look at the, uh, you know, years ago when I came, all, all people kept in their yards or in their farms were, were cattle, cows. Now you see lamb and you see goats and you see feta cheese and you see, you know, my goodness, you know, uh, what, a, what a change. And we don't even know what many good things will come ahead yet, you know, because we're inventing things. We're, we're human, we want to get, uh, get better and, and we're doing that. Um, yeah, whoever thought that they're going to have feta cheese, Greek uh, feta cheese originate from Greece, uh, uh, they're proud of it, uh, that uh, we'll have such a manufacturing uh, winning worldwide uh, recognition for its product. I don't know uh, all the ends and means, but uh, I'm saying the, the, the power lies in, in our individual hands. And if we are um, concerned about the future, then, then join the council, join the different... Uh, I certainly, that, that's all i done. And uh, a couple of years ago, I got recognition from the Chamber of Commerce for my contribution to the town, because that's that's my heart, it was in it. Uh, because I believe in that. And, uh, and you can contribute in different, different ways. Volunteerism, you know, in different ways you can contribute to that. Anyways, that's, that's, that phase of my life has been enjoyable and now that I'm 80 years old, I look back and I say, well, thank God I had a small part in this, uh, in the success of the town. And it is success, be proud of it. I, I, I can't believe that, uh, that, uh, that I'm 80. To be honest with you, I still feel young because of the young people. 
uh, I have a, an opportunity, like I say, I visit Greece, and uh, we have a home there and a farm, and uh, still have some family, and uh, we enjoy that. But uh, uh, when we're there, we dream of Canada. When we're in Greece, we dream. When we're in Canada, we dream of Greece because we were uh, fortunate to, to to have to love two countries. The only the only uh, negative, I guess you might say, is uh, that uh, to some people they, they want us to become fifty thousand or hundred thousand. I don't know. I guess the day will be when we become that, but let's not push it too far. You know, it's just slowly uh, we're we're getting there. Uh, and, and and maybe sometimes I, I comparing. Um, leads into Sparta. Sparta is about 20,000 people now, 15, 20,000, a lot of retired people, uh, good life, uh, but there's no jobs. So people have to move, and that's a, that's a price you pay. How you say, I'm happy to see that uh, the, the dark days that we went through are gone, and uh, dark, economically dark days. Uh, we never had to, at least in my lifetime, uh, within the second world war I was just born and I tell you my family went through that uh, and a lot of families here went through that thank God the new generation doesn't have to concern with that and I hope it will never happen you know that we have uh, peace and serenity uh, for, for the world I, I continue to say that uh, you can wait for somebody else to make a future for you, you do it yourself and uh, and we can certainly be proud of the good things that happen here.